Hey guys, Jerry Berg, the Poor Historian here, bringing to you just audio this time and sharing with you something that I found to be just a special treat uh, in the world of the Aztec weapon known as the Makohuit or Makana. This particular image was brought to my attention by the YouTuber by the name of The Ghost Hero. Shout out to him for bringing this up. And what it is, is well, a little background on this. The Makohuit has been just a mystery in terms of the details of it. In coming from specifically uh, an archaeological perspective, meaning looking at the weapon itself. Uh, the only thing that we have had has been one sketch of a Makuhuit that came from the Royal Armories in Madrid. And then the, uh, the, the weapon itself that the sketch was made of uh, was uh, supposedly burned in a fire in the late 1800s. Uh, so what we have found here is what looks to be an etching based on an actual photograph that shows a makuhui. And here it is. Look at this. What is the first thing that you realize about this image? It is not supposed to be a part of an Aztec military outfit, but it looks to be part of a Japanese military outfit. Looks like uh, a very poorly put together uh, samurai armor look. Uh, now, there are a lot of issues with this. Uh, for example, not, not, not just necessarily to point out the fact that he's holding an Aztec weapon. The shield itself looks fairly Persian, and then the armor itself looks pieced together. This is a prime example of the Victorians, the evil Victorians. That's a, they're not necessarily evil, they just were a little bit lax with their history. You have stories of Victorians uh, conducting sparring sessions using, using weapons that were 300 years old and uh, not really caring about the details or the history behind artifacts, more so just the shock and awe value of it. And this is a prime example. This appears to be uh, someone who, who worked in the museum, put together a Japanese, quote-unquote, display, and kind of got whatever weapon it happened to be lying around that fit the theme. So this does fit a Japanese weapon that's called an Iku. I'm probably pronouncing that. I have a horrible reputation for pronouncing uh, different words differently or improperly. But it does look very similar. An Iku is a, is a war or, and that's pretty much what a Makuhit looks like as well. Um, so they, they threw that on there to complete the complete, quote unquote, again, the Japanese consortium here of, of, of items. Uh, but what this does is this photographer, whoever took the image that this etching is based off of, clearly wanted to take a picture of a Japanese exhibit. And so this is, in a way, a, an ability to tell that these Japanese, or that these Victorian historians, that the Victorians did a good thing by messing up history because now we have this image, more or less, of a Makuhit. And what is so fantastic about this is that this is amazing to show the perspective, to show the size of this weapon in comparison to that of uh, what we can only assume is a fully grown adult human which is fantastic. That is something that we haven't had before. Even looking at the sketch of the Makuhit, we didn't have anything to compare it to. They didn't even have measuring sticks or rulers or anything to show the scale. It was just an image. And then this clearly shows a huge scale. This is what I, what I originally thought would be a one-handed weapon. Now I can see with this perspective next to it that it definitely, definitely appears to be a two-handed weapon, this particular image uh, showing a two-handed weapon, which is very fascinating because if you read the accounts of the conquistadors as they are uh, attacking the Aztecs uh, or, or other cultures in Central America at the time, they're always talking about how they win based on swordsmanship and skill, but then they always say that there are terrifying 
two-handed versions of the Macuhuit that the Aztecs would wield like the Spanish Montante, like the Spanish great swords. Um, and this, from this image, looks to be at least, it's got to be at least four and a half feet tall. The, the image kind of cuts out at the top too, so I'm not sure exactly how far it is, though you can compare it to the original sketch as well. But this is a huge weapon! Uh, and the fact that we're able to get this much detail with the perspective to show the actual size of it is very, very, very fascinating and has convinced me that there there has to have been two hand that that the weapons that the conquistadors are referring to are actually referring to a two handed Makahuit instead of what I previously thought would be a different two handed weapon like the uh, Tepotzili, uh, which we'll get into at another time. I don't want to take too long, too much longer on this, but man, this is fascinating. This is such an awesome find. Um, also proves just how poor the uh, the Victorians were occasionally at uh, organizing their history, or at least the care that they showed for it. Uh, what are your thoughts? Post in the comments below. Uh, keep up to date on the the uh, true Makohuit. Aztec Combat Manual, which is slowly but surely coming out. I'm trying to put a lot more quality into these videos than my usual videos, so they are taking a lot longer. I promise I'm muscling through slowly but surely. Uh, keep, in, keep, uh, keep up, subscribe, and post your comments, and have a great day. Bye-bye.